Today I'm in the city of Hackensack, New Jersey. I'm here to sample one of the most iconic burgers in the entire state and one of the most iconic burgers in the New York City area. I'm talking about White Mana. Hackensack is pretty close to New York City. It took me 39 minutes to get here by train. I did have to transfer once at Secaucus, which is a very fun word to say, by the way, but it was very easy to get here. There are actually two locations of White Mana. One is in Jersey City and the other is here in Hackensack. Now both establishments seem iconic in their own right, but it does seem like more people go to the one here in Hackensack, plus I've been to Jersey City, but I've never been to Hackensack. And I just love going to someplace new, so that's why I'm here in Hackensack. I'm sure I'll go to the Jersey City location eventually. White Mana serves sliders, just like White Castle, but they're much, much better. White Mana is a Hackensack icon, and it's extremely popular. So it opens for lunch at about 11. I showed up maybe seven or eight minutes early and it was absolutely desolate. There was no one inside, the lights were off, pitch black, and I thought, I'll just go for a leisurely walk until it hits 11 and went down by the Hackensack River, really nice. I come back a few minutes after 11 and it was absolutely packed. But luckily, there are still some seats open and I enjoyed a very good lunch. White Mana was originally founded at the 1939 New York World's Fair and later moved to Hackensack, New Jersey in 1946. It has remained a local icon of the city ever since. The restaurant has even been featured on shows such as Anthony Bourdain's No Reservations, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and The Best Thing I Ever Ate. It's small, there's not a lot of seating, and I would imagine that at certain times there could be quite a wait for food. The menu is simple, straightforward, and very affordable. Everything is made fresh on the grill, creating a fantastic soundtrack of sizzling meat sounds which was music to my ears. It took about 15 minutes for my food to be prepared. I ordered four cheeseburgers, one double cheeseburger, and fries. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that is a pretty sight. The burgers are crafted from extra lean ground beef which is delivered to the restaurant daily from a local supplier. Oh, those burgers are so good. They just hit the spot. They're absolutely delicious. The beef patties are thin, but they're substantially bigger than those served at White Castle. These burgers just go down so easy. Just after like a bite or two, the meat, the bun, the onions, the pickle, they all just become one into one just magical thing. When my burgers were being prepared, I was asked if I wanted onions and pickles, which of course I said yes to. The burgers are really good without the pickles, but the pickles provide that nice bit of acidity, that sourness. It just completes the whole sandwich. The pickles do come on the side and you'll have to add them yourself, but one can manage. The onions played their part as well, not only providing an additional flavor profile, but a pleasant sweetness that interacted beautifully with the beef. As far as the double cheeseburger, it was a winner as well, but instead of two distinct patties, the meat more so merges together as one in a single but thicker patty. The double's really good too, but I mean, it's like you'd expect. It's more meat, it's bigger, but it's awesome. On the side, I enjoyed the crinkle cut fries. The fries, they're decent, uh, they're kind of basic. They need salt, but uh, they're not bad. Even though the fries aren't anything special, I would still order them again as they're certainly pretty solid. Plus, I always like having something on the side to munch on between bites of my burgers. The burgers at White Mana are certainly delicious, but I also really enjoyed the atmosphere of the establishment, which definitely added to my overall experience. I love seeing the food being cooked in front of me, all the while eating in a classic looking American diner with a warm, communal, and neighborly atmosphere. But most importantly, the burgers were simply delicious. That at the spot, definitely worth the trip here. Those burgers were immensely satisfying. I really enjoyed my lunch at White Mana. The burgers were certainly good, but I just love the atmosphere, just how cool and old school that building looked. I mean, it's iconic in itself. Now, the burgers are not the high-end, dry-aged, fine-dining variety, but they certainly kick the crap out of White Castle. They just hit the spot. They were delicious. Now, one thing I was concerned about before I ate at White Man was how many burgers I should actually order. I was trying to compare it to the number of White Castle cheeseburgers I can consume in a sitting. 
I don't know, maybe 10 to 15, but that's hard to say because I never get just cheeseburgers at White Castle. I'm always getting like the chicken rings on the side, the french fries, whatever special sandwich they have. Plus, I knew the burgers at White Mana are bigger, so I'd have to take that into account. I think my order of the four cheeseburgers with one double cheeseburger and a side of fries was sufficient for me. Now I know I could eat more, but I'm going to be doing a little exploring of Hackensack now and I wanted to save some room in my stomach so I can get a snack or a treat of some sort so I have no regrets regarding the size of my order. White Mana has endured all these years for a reason. It's an iconic institution. They serve a great burger. The atmosphere there is excellent and it is certainly worth the trip from New York City. And now I'm going to explore a bit of Hackensack, but I'll definitely be back here one day to eat again at White Mana. I began my explorations by walking along the Hackensack River. It was very pleasant, but I would imagine it's much more scenic during the summer months when the trees and plants are in full bloom. I made my way all the way up to the shops at Riverside, which looked like a nice mall, but I was really only there to use the washroom. After that, food and drinks were again on my mind. Earlier in the day, before my lunch, I enjoyed a nice coffee and croissant as well as some reading time at Stimulate by Bond, which is certainly a fun name by the way. During the afternoon, I went to a charming ice cream shop called Cranberry Junction and ate the banana Oreo ice cream, which was really nice. Then I checked out the elementary brewing tap room where I sipped on a solid porter. I would have loved to have tried some of the other beers, but I had a schedule to keep. Finally, I made my way to the downtown area and took in the sadly closed but iconic Sears building before hopping on a train back to New York City. It certainly was a great day in Hackensack. <laughs>